Hello, Mr. Fox back once more to talk to you about times table rock stars. So straight into it, let's just show um, the um, homepage. Okay, so this is the one I had on the first video. If you watch that, this is my made up account, um, Xander Schneider. Um, and this is this is what I've got to. So I'm, on this character, I'm practicing my fives. Okay, and I'd keep on doing garage. There'd be one minute tests, three minute tests, just about five practicing the number that you need to practice on okay um there are other game modes as well though there is jamming so i click on to jamming you get uh different amounts of coins so you pick what you want to practice okay so it might be that you're out of practice on your eights so you say right i want to practice my eights and i want to practice just multiplying all oh, but if it's just multiplying i only get four coins per question it might be that you just do division and again, it's four coins. You might be, you get a mix of both. And because you don't know if you're going to get multiplying or dividing, it's that little bit harder. So they give you more coins for it. You can pick 10 questions, 20 questions, or 30 questions. The difference with jamming is there is no time limits. Okay. So you could pick your twos and you can pick more than one. You see, I'm picking them, turn them on, turn them off. So I could pick twos and tens. I could pick twos and fours. You can choose what ones you want to pick. There are ones down here. If you want to challenge yourself, once you know your twelves, let's not do that until we know all our twelves though, but you can do what you like and pick and there's no time limit. So if it takes you 10 minutes, it takes you 10 minutes, if it takes you three hours, it takes you three hours. Let's hope it doesn't take us three hours. Okay. So jamming is there for practicing a specific table or groups of tables that you want to do. Garage is the one that you're currently on. Jamming's your choice. Next is studio. Okay. Studio you want to do when you've finished garage really. Okay. Because studio will test you on everything. And this is to see how fast you are. Okay. You have to play 10 games of studio and then it will work out your average to see how fast you've answered questions on the whole and give you a score. Okay. And there's a table in the school and all the teachers are in it. I'm in it and all the children are in it. So you can see who's the fastest person in the school. But as I say, this one tests you on everything. So if you're only on your fours or fives or whatever, and that's fine. Um, and you come on to studio and suddenly it tells you nine times 12. Well, it might do that. So don't, by all means, have a go, but don't be upset if it's a question that you don't know because it will test you on everything. Studio is kind of like the bonus level at the end. Once you've shown that you can do all your times tables up to 12, studio is all about getting faster and faster. Okay. Um, it's, and it's, it is quite good fun taking on other people. I take on uh, the children in the school and some of them beat me. And, and that's good. And you can see how much I enjoy that. Um, but yeah, studio is there once you've finished garage. Okay. And you only get a coin per answer okay so it's not a way to build up coins it's not a way to get a high score it's just it's about that sort of bragging rights and that look at me look how fast i am okay next is sound check sound check is your best friend if you are in year three and year four this is basically the government test okay as it says there 25 questions six seconds per question you get five coins for everyone you get rights and you just play it and it's just like the government test. The next question will come up and you've got six seconds to type it in and say, that's the answer. And then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. We need to try and practice on this level as much as you can. Please play garage, get your coins, get your score, get your practice. But then every now and then do a sound check because this will just get you ready for that test at the end of year four. We're gonna be practicing these in school as well. And it's all about knowing those times tables and, and being quick. And that's that's the sort of the sad thing, if you like, about the tests that the government makers do. They just care about the speed, because if you know a fact, apparently, if you know a fact, you're supposed to be able to do it within three seconds. And so they give you six. They give you twice as long to prove that you know it. Yes, we can all use fingers and work out our times tables. And that's fine. And that's a great technique to help you out. But when you know your times tables, it should just take you three seconds to go. Yep, there it is. And type it in. OK, so sound check is the government practice. All right. These are all single player games. No one will see your score. No one else will um, know who you are or that you're on your threes or on your nines or you only got one right. It's for you to practice and for you to get better. If you got one out of 25, then you know you need to beat that next time. No one else is going to see it. OK, you've then got three games here, which are multiplayer games. There is festival. OK, festival, as you can see here, these are people playing the festival now online. This is across the whole world. It says it there, race the world. And again, it tests you on all of the times tables up to 12 times 12. So again, it's something that's probably best 
once you know your times tables and you've practiced that garage. Only get one coin per answer, but it's a bit funny. You can see how fast you are against the whole world. You basically click onto one. So if I want to play Woodstock, there we go. And in 41 seconds, it's going to start. So there's my little icon. I'm in Woodstock. 37 seconds, I'm going to play against these three people. Other people might come on and then that's it. When you play online, you only ever get shown as Xander Schneider or your name, okay? No one knows your real name. No one knows where they live. You can't talk to anyone. You can't say anything to anyone. You just see your score. So if you come bottom, no one's going to be able to say anything against you. If you came top, no one's going to be able to say anything against you. It's just for you to know. I'm going to unclick, otherwise I'll be in that, okay? So that's festival. Arena is pretty much exactly the same thing, but just for our class. So uh, the Mr. Fox character, I put me in three large. So I can take on anyone I like from three large. This is live. So if no one else is online, which no one else is, because I'm recording this in the school holidays and none of you have your passwords yet, there's no one there to play. I can still click on it, but it will just be me. Okay. And I might as well just do studio. Or, or something else so this is if you want to team up with your friends say all right five o'clock we'll all go on and we'll, we'll play uh, an arena and we'll go to Wembley okay and you can play each other exactly the same though up to 12s one coin per answer see how well you do against the clock if you click on here where it says EJS it's the whole school okay so you could be up against year three year four year five year six but it's live okay so if you go on and no one else is online you've got no one to play with the last one is Rock Slam. This one's great fun because you can challenge people. OK, so here are all the classes here. So I might go into, let's say, Five Pine. And again, it's all their names. So I can't click on a, an actual real person. You've got to know who they are. You can do anyone you like. There you go. I'm going to click on Zach Pack and I'll challenge Zach Pack. All right. Or I can challenge Bella Doll or whoever I like, okay? You can select whoever you like to challenge them. Find out your friend's name, send them a challenge. This is offline. So basically I'd click on that person and I'd do a minute, how many questions I can get right. And then it sends them and it says, Mr. Fox got 12 right, can you beat him? And then you have a go and you, you either beat it or you don't, okay? You can take on the teachers as well. Where are they? They are here, okay? This has our real names so that you know who to take on, all right? So they're all there. Whoever you want to take on, they're there. OK, when you log on to um, Rockstars, a little one appears here next to Rockslam or two or three to say how many challenges you've got. And they appear here. So it says um, whether you've got any challenges. OK, shows you what ones you sent to other people and what ones you've completed. It will tell you their score as well. You don't have to play. So if some random person has challenged you, you don't have to play them. You just ignore it. If it's your friend, you want to click on it, or you just want to have a bit of fun. Right, I'm going to take on that person, see what I can do. And you have a contest to see who wins. One minute, how many questions you get. Okay, and again, it's all the way up to 12. So again, this is something that's best played once you've done your garage and you're on level 420, you've passed. You, you know all your times tables. You can play at any time, but as it says at the bottom there, it's 12 times 12, okay? It's all of the ones that you can do. Okay, so garage, that's um, specific for you. Your gig tells them what score to do. Jamming, you get to pick. Studio, everything. Sound check, everything. Festival, everything. Rock slams, everything. Arena, it says automatic um, 64, but I'm pretty certain that it's it's everything. It might be that it just does questions for whoever, whatever's level's there. So if someone's on level one, then everyone will be on level one. Okay, but having played that, I'm certain it's, it's down to everything. All right, bit of fun. Enjoy it. Earn your coins. What's the point of all these coins that you keep telling us about, Mr. Fox? Well, if you click on your character up here, so I'm going up to my name, Sandra Schneider, I click on that person and you can see how many coins I've got and I can click on my um, profile and see all about me, see how well I'm doing. But I can also go to the shop, okay? And this is where I can improve my background and say, all oh, right, how many coins have I got? 720. Oh, so I might spend 500 coins and buy the lovely NHS rainbow background, okay? Or I might want to change my eyes and buy, oh, these ones are free. So I'm gonna have these lovely wacky eyes. There you go, my character's changed straight away. Okay, so some stuff's free, some stuff you pay for. There is no real life money in this. You can't suddenly get a grown up's credit card and put money on this. You can't do an accidental real life purchase. You only get coins by playing the games, which is why Garage is your best friend because it's 10 coins for every correct answer. So Garage will get you a lot of coins. All right. You can change your character if you like, change your skin. That's all free. So you've got all different colors there. There's eyes, there's mouth, there's hair, there's legs, torso, your chest, 
um, instruments, if you want to have a guitar or whatever you want to do, different uh, accessories, uh, shades, uh, facial hair, if you want to have a beard, it's up to you. Your character can look like whatever you want it to look like, but you earn coins to buy the cool stuff. OK, so you want to have a Cyclops visor that will cost you a thousand coins. You want to get crazy makeup, fire around your eyes, thousand two hundred coins. OK, you only get coins by playing the games. OK, and that's pretty much it for the types of games you can play all right so uh, have a have a play um there's no getting it wrong so don't worry if, if you don't get 20 on level 64 you just come back and try it again and that's what it's all about it's all about practice times tables and remembering them just comes down to practice like any skills we're using this game to do it and hopefully then we all pass the test that the government set us uh, at the end of year four but have a play see what you um can find um, that's it when it comes to the games. I'm going to do one more video about a couple of issues that uh, crop up every now and then just to explain a few things, but that is it. Enjoy.